Welcome to We Will Worship One Million Voice Choir. We're here to call the nations to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So tonight, we want to just ask you to join us from all the nations as we bow our heads in prayer. Let's invite Pastor Reverend Mercy Bamkefer to do the opening prayer for us tonight. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this time in your presence. We ask that you have your way even as we minister in worship. Let it go to the ends of the world. Let every hearer life be changed and the nations turn back to you. We thank you for this time. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to take our only scripture for today, which is the song we shall be singing in this particular episode today. And the scripture we're reading for this, uh, for this particular episode is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 1. We ask Pastor Iris Williams, who is one of our board members, to read the scripture for us. Amen. I'm reading from Revelation 19, 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. And glory and honor and power. 
Welcome to Wave of Worship. I am Pastor Rose Anderson Mephors with International Worship Center located at 1016 East Cooley Drive in the city of Colton, California, under the leadership of Dr. Bola Ararola. And we are here to mobilize a one million voice choir. We have for our guests today to my right is Pastor Steve Braun from uh, Banning Foursquare. To my right. Thank you. And Pastor Iris Williams, Breath of the Spirit Ministry. Yes. Dr. Michelle Correll. Yes. And we have the visionary, the one that God has given this vision to, to mobilize the One Million Voice Choir, Dr. Bola Aurora to my left. God bless you. Praise God. So, Dr. Bola, I would just like to ask you, why are we doing the One Million Voice Choir? Well, from the song we just sang uh, a while ago, uh, from the scripture in uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 1, that scripture tells us that uh, after these things, mm -hmm. after these things, mm -hmm. I heard the voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation, and glory, and honor, and power unto the Lord our God. When you get to heaven, the heaven's church is not a two or three people. It's the voice of much people. Amen. And Christ says, the Bible says that Christ is coming for a victorious and triumphant church. A church that is not defeated. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you go to the stadium and you find people that are playing a particular game or tournament, mm -hmm. the winning side is the shouting side. <laughs> yes. And so the fans they begin to applaud their, their own team mm -hmm. that's winning. And when Christ is going to come the second time, it's coming for a church that is victorious, a winning church. Yes. And so we are going to be worshiping, yes, yes. applauding the goodness of the Lord mm -hmm. and exalting his name. Yes. Yes. And so the coming of Jesus Christ is very near. Mm -hmm. And that's why God is calling for a massive you know, building of raising an army of worshipers that will prepare the church as the bride for Christ. Mm -hmm. Because if the bride is not ready, the groom is not coming. Amen. Wow. So the bride has to make herself ready. Yes. And so that's why God has given us the mandate to mobilize this one million voice choir, mm -hmm. which is not the minimum we can do. Amen. We're still going to be going beyond that. But for this year, we're mobilizing one million voice choir from all over the world. And it's going to be, the program is going to hold uh, November 10, stroke 11. It's going to be 24 hours worship nonstop around the clock and around the world. Amen. So are you all agree with me that God has more than one million people to lift up their voice from every nation to worship him. Amen. Yes. If Amen. just a human being that wants to vie for presidency <coughs> could get 65 million votes in America alone, mm -hmm. and then somebody else that vies for presidency in another country gets so many votes. Mm -hmm. So how many votes can God get in the world that he created? Yes. So we need to vote for God at this time and use our voices that is given to yes. us to exalt and to worship him. Wow. Yes. That is the reason for this one million voice choir. Amen. 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 And um, Pastor Steve, you have been uh, fellowshipping with Pastor, uh, Dr. Bola for a while now. So why don't you tell the audience what your experience has been with uh, Wave of Worship? Well, when Dr. Bola came to... Um, to Beaumont and Banning area, he talked to us about he talked to us about mobilizing our churches to worship together. And at that time we only had about three pastors that were praying together. Mm -hmm. And he said nothing will unify like worship. So we said, well let's have a wave of worship. He said, let's have 
24 hours of worship, and we're going to have all the churches worship together. And I said, well, the churches don't even work together right now. It's something that is very hard to, to unify us. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, worship will unify the churches here. Yes. And by the end of the time of mobilization, we had 3,000 people come together to worship for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. We had a worship team worship, lead worship for 40 minutes. And then a pastor would speak about the kingdom of God for 20 minutes. And we ended up having 40 churches all come together, 3,000 people came together just to worship the Lord. And the thing that unified us was worship. It was the one thing that unified us all. Mm, wow, that is wonderful. You see how powerful worship is. So if we all can come together and worship God together with our voices, blend our voices together, what a mighty thing that God can do in this nation and other, in other nations as well. So, Pastor uh, Williams, share with us uh, what God is ministering to you concerning this uh, wave of worship movement. What is God ministering to you? It's the sound. Mm. The sound mm -hmm. that he's um, desiring from his people. Yes. The praise, the worship, more so the worship. And a lot of uh, us in Christendom don't know the difference between praise okay. and worship. Mm -hmm. Worship is an entirely different thing. Yes. We are worshiping him because of who he is mm -hmm. and not for what he does. Mm -hmm. um, so I was introduced to uh, the house of worship on a Saturday morning mm -hmm. and um, I was reluctant in going, but the Holy Spirit spoke to me that morning and told me to come mm -hmm. to this particular meeting. Yes. And I am so thankful that I was obedient to the voice uh, of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. because I found a group that are as fanatical as I am about worshiping the Lord our God. Amen. Mm, praise God. Praise God. What a wonderful experience. We thank God for you um, being with us on today and sharing your experience and Pastor Steve sharing your experience of working with Pastor Bola and how worship brought the people together, how worship brought pastors together, leaders together, worship being a powerful tool. And so Pastor Bola, we would like to ask you, why California for the wave of worship? Well, there's something about worship that I want people to know. Everything that God created, because God is a designer, is an architect, mm -hmm. and I share that same profession with God. So, God, when God was creating everything, He allocated, you know, portions and grace to everything He did or He created. So, we have the four cardinal points of the world. We have the north, the, the south, the east, and the west. And so from the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19, the Bible says in that scripture, it says, so shall they fear. In other words, so shall they reverence mm -hmm. or worship the name of the Lord from the west. Yes. Amen. From the west. Okay. And so California is in the west of America, mm -hmm. farthest west of America. So God says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, mm -hmm. and then his glory from the rising of the sun. Mm -hmm. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. Yes. So now, why California? California is situated in the west part of the world. Mm -hmm. So worship is supposed to come from the west, yes. according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so it's the same thing when you look at worshipers, either they are Muslims or Buddhists or whatever, you know, uh, anybody mm -hmm. that worship. They always locate where the east is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they, when find where the east is, where the sun is rising from, they know that is where they are supposed to focus or face to do their worship. Yes. Even the Muslims too. Mm -hmm. So when we design church buildings, 
we normally put the altar in the east. Mm -hmm. okay. So that when we are worshiping, there's a wall that blocks the sun from entering into the church mm. and blind people's eyes. But worshipers are in the west, facing the east. Yes. So this is, sometimes we don't know why this is so. But that scripture in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 gives us a very, very good instruction about yes. where worship will come from. Uh -huh. So, so shall they fear the name of the Lord mm -hmm. from the West. Yes. So now, Pastor William just says that sound, one of the things that attracted her to find about yes. the way we worship is what God is speaking to her about sound. Mm -hmm. So the sound of worship is supposed to echo from the West yes. and towards the East wow. so that God can receive our worship. Yes. Because the glory rises from the East. Mm -hmm. So worship doesn't start from the east, mm -hmm. it starts from the west. Mm -hmm. So that's why California has a redemptive grace mm -hmm. from God mm -hmm. to produce the kind of worship mm -hmm. that is going to make God's presence felt all over oh, the nations yes. of the earth. Yes. Yes. And so one of the things the enemy has tried to do as much as he could is to go ahead and take over the redemptive mm -hmm. grace in the west and mm -hmm. situate his own sound mm -hmm. and produce his own sound so that the frequency of his sound can actually drown that oh, of the church. Yes. And that was what happened in the time of Nebuchadnezzar mm -hmm. when he raised an idol that was 90 feet tall mm -hmm. and 9 feet wide, golden mm -hmm. idol. And he decided that everybody in the world should worship that idol. Mm -hmm. So in order for that, uh, that worship to have a tangible effect, so he raised an orchestra of musicians mm -hmm. that played the harp, the tuba, you know, every kind of instrument, mm -hmm. and then they produce a sound. And the king said, whenever you hear the sound of that music, wow. just know that that is the time mm -hmm. that you need to bow your head wherever you are and worship his idol. Mm -hmm. But these three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mm -hmm. said, no, we are not going to do that. And so they were sentenced to death, mm -hmm. to die through being thrown into the very burning furnace of fire. Mm -hmm. We all can remember that story. Mm -hmm. But while they were going into that fire, I believe they were not just going just anyhow. They were singing and worshiping God mm -hmm. and teaching that generation that God is worthy of all our praise. Yes. Even in death or in life, mm -hmm. he is worthy of our worship. Amen. And so when they landed in the very furnace of fire, mm -hmm. the fourth man appeared that only the king saw. Mm -hmm. And the king asked his people, did we not throw three boys into the furnace of fire? Mm -hmm. And said, yeah, we did. So I can see the fourth one as the son of God. Mm -hmm. So in other words, when the sound comes out from the west, mm -hmm. and we begin to produce the sound that actually will bring down and reveal God to this generation, mm -hmm. God will come and then reveal himself to the kings, to the people in authority, to those in government. Yes. God will reveal himself to the nations yes. such that yes. the nations yes. may come back to him. Amen. Amen. So that is why it is important that the sound that it will produce from this west here yes. is the sound of worship. Amen. And so that is why we are bringing together this one million voice choir mm -hmm. to raise a praise army that we produce the sound that will bring the revelation of God mm -hmm. to this generation. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. Now, Pastor amen. Bola, tell us quickly, how do you register? How do you go on and register for a uh, wave of worship? Uh, give the people the information as to where they go on and how they go on and make their pledges or their donations. Yeah, uh, for this assignment, you know, every assignment that God has given, there is an order, there is a structure. Mm -hmm. uh, we are raising this Wobbylon Voice Choir from all over the world, mm -hmm. from Europe, from Africa, from India, from China, from America, from uh, South America, from Mexico, everyone is qualified to register. Mm -hmm. And how you, where you can go to register, you go to our website at www.usawaveofworship.org. Mm -hmm. www.usawaveofworship.org waveofworship.org at that website you will find instruction on what to do mm -hmm. and then there's also a place for you to donate towards this course mm -hmm. and the reason why we're asking for donation 
Uh, everybody is going to worship from everywhere they are. We mm -hmm. cannot gather one million people together in the stadium mm -hmm. at one time. Amen. But we're going to be renting a stadium for this event mm -hmm. on that day. And then we're going to be doing sound and uh, bringing people from all over. Mm -hmm. And uh, all expenses are really uh, high on this. Mm -hmm. Publicity and stuff like that are going to be uh, needed to be done. Mm -hmm. So that's why we ask you to go to uh, the USA Wave of Worship org and then make your donation. There's a button there you can find donation and just go ahead and click on it and then it will get to us. Mm -hmm. And then you can also call us on our telephone number. Our telephone number is uh, one eight three three. 426-6389. And then we have another local number. is 909-572-3214. 909-572-3214. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. So we thank you all for uh, tuning in on today. You don't need to have a good voice. You just need a voice. God just wants to use your voice to give him the praise, to give him the glory, to give him the honor. And this is a time that we can all come together and go up and worship and praise together. For when praises go up, the blessings come down. Now listen, I know some of you all out there need a blessing. So you can go and sign up www.usa wave of worship sign up for the one million voice choir people are signing up all over the world so wherever you are on your time zone on november november the 10th and the 11th you can go up and praise and worship with us giving god the glory in psalms the 34th chapter it's uh, david said i will bless the lord at all times Come with us and bless the Lord. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us, let us, let us exalt his name together. God bless you. Well, uh, beloved brethren, um, it's a joy to be called by God at this point in time. God created us for his worship. Mm -hmm. yes. He created every nation you know, on earth for his pleasure yes. and everything on earth. I remember when we were doing the wave of worship in burning. Mm -hmm. For years, it didn't rain yes. in burning. Mm -hmm. When we got there, and we began to do, prepare for the wave of worship. Mm -hmm. The weather changed. The environment changed. And then it started raining. And it rained and rained and rained. The whole place became so green and so beautiful. And so I believe that after this November 10, 11, mm -hmm. yes. God is going to send his glory down again mm -hmm. to every nation of the world. Yes. So that's why every nation is expected to be part of this mm -hmm. so that the rain of blessing will fall upon your land. Every family is supposed to partake in this so that the rain of blessings of God mm -hmm. can fall upon your family. Yes. Every individual is supposed to participate in these mm -hmm. so that the rain of God's blessing can fall upon you as an individual. Every church, every pastor, every ministry, mm -hmm. every worshiper, every usher, every intercessor mm -hmm. is supposed to be part of this move of God so that the rain of blessings of God may fall upon all of us. Amen. So we are inviting you right now to join us in this, go to the website at www.usawaveofworship.org and sign up to be part of this praise army that God is raising for this end time. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Can we just sing that song one more time? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
and glory and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. Unto the Lord our God. Unto the Lord Unto the Lord our God. Unto the Lord. 